Hello everyone and welcome back to Movement. This week what we are going to do is focus on pantomime. Pantomime is a type of storytelling that combines the principles and foundations of mime work and uses it to tell a story. So in mime, last week you guys learned fixed point and how to create objects out of your movement and your relationship with space. Now we're going to take those same elements and we're going to add characterization to it and storytelling. And that's what this week is all about. So let's get started. Pantomime is storytelling through movement and movement alone. So when you are pantomiming a story, you are not talking. So there is no talking and you are playing all of the characters. Your job in this is to tell the most convincing story possible. Now there are challenges and there are also some real beautiful gifts that come with pantomime. The challenge is you can't rely on your words, but the gift is you're going to be more expressive, more animated, and when you're on stage, this is going to make you a better performer. If you're on film, it's going to help you understand and work with, with green screen. But you in general are going to be a much better performer when you are inhabiting your character. Right? You're not just relying on the words that you're speaking. You actually have to become every character. So you have to take your acting up a notch. Your acting is going to be bigger than life. And that's good. You also have to be creative in how you tell stories. You have to be very specific as well. So if you're picking up a cup, you better be specific on where the cup is with that fixed point and then give it some weight, give it some life so that you can splash someone in the face if you want. Or if you're telling a story like Jack and the Beanstalk, you can start off with the ground and then you can move the earth and you can plant a seed and you can cover it. Or maybe this is the earth and you plant the seed and you cover it. And from that, the beanstalk grows. Now, when you are transitioning from one character to another, you can spin or it's just your belief. Create a physical body and be expressive with your face. Create a full character for each person so they're easily identified, right? Give each actor or give each character within your story a trait. Have fun with the storytelling. See how specific you can be. Don't do something ordinary when you can do something extraordinary. All right, so what you guys are going to do this week is pick a fairy tale. Any fairy tale you want, you get to pick and you guys are going to pantomime the story. You can add music if you want, or you can just record yourself doing it. What matters is that you, re you really work hard on being specific and you share with us your best work. All right, what you're gonna do then is upload that video so that we can all see it and then we can guess. And if something's unclear, we're gonna ask questions and we are going to try to look at how we can improve your performance. And then what you're gonna do is watch others. You're gonna do the same with them and you're gonna take those critiques work on it and improve. And what we're doing is we are always refining. That's what the rehearsal process is. We're taking our best work and we're refining it and seeing how good we can get it and how perfect we can get it before we put it in front of an audience. All right, everybody. I can't wait to see your videos and I'll see you soon.